Welcome to the June 2017 edition of Digital Shop Talk. Uh, right out of the gate, we're talking Facebook today. We're actually Facebook live in this right now. We'll see if anybody pays attention. Two uh, we got two viewers. Uh, Andrew Beckman, what's up, buddy? Um, but we talk a lot about Google on here uh, for obvious reasons, but today, Facebook, as you like to say, what's up with that? Facebook, um, Facebook local specifically. So when we talk about local search, we, we talk extensively about Google, um, Google My Business, Bing Places, yep. but one of the growing areas of local search is Facebook. Mm -hmm. So you don't think of it as a search engine, but it is, it is quickly becoming one and they're positioning their platform um, that they're gonna be a real competitor in this space right now. So in uh, their kind of their F, F8 or F9 conference, yep. um, they, they came out and basically said, we're testing a new way to discover where to go and what to do around you. So mm -hmm. really now people are using Facebook as a discovery tool. So you mm -hmm. go in, you're in, a new, um, you're in a new market, you're in a new neighborhood, you're traveling, mm -hmm. or you're right here in Denver and you wanna get something to eat. You can do searches in the search box um, and the results are being pulled up. The top three are kind of being pulled up and, and we're not exactly sure the algorithm that right. the reasoning why um, or how you can get ranked mm -hmm. high in Facebook. But right. this is something that we're actively researching and there's a couple no brainers for us. One, if you have multiple business locations, you have to have a location page per business. Absolutely, that is yep. Absolutely table stakes. Um, you need to do it. There's a lot of different ways that you can go about it. There's a lot of complexities because there might be rogue listings out there and how to do that moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, and the other piece of it is then to make sure that there's content on those pages, mm -hmm. right? So it kind of goes back to Google listings five, six years ago where it was right. claim it, provide good content, and then it's really about some level of engagement. So yep. do you have good reviews? Are you actively posting on it? Are you responding to reviews? Mm -hmm. All these things are no-brainers for making sure that you're ranking well in Facebook. So yep. start thinking of Facebook as a local search product. Yep. And the other thing that I like that we talked a, a little bit about on the last shop talk that came out of F8 is the messenger piece of it. When you said discovery, right now the, the algorithm and the, I think they call them the bots are when people are having conversations about where to, you know, let's go meet up for a drink or grab a bite to eat. It's like actual business listings and information right. are populating in Messenger based on just super generic conversational keywords. So that to me is a really whole new layer of discovery that is gonna be pretty wild to see, right? Someone's not actively saying, where's the nearest restaurant? They're just talking about going to get something to eat and suddenly, boom, that information pops up. So- And we're also um, seeing kind of the integration of Facebook Messenger yep. as a small business on that location. You can interact with it yep. and you'll see you know, you'll see, hey, usually responds within an hour, usually responds within 24 hours. Yep. So you kind of take that and then combo that with the news this week of the Google My Business now allowing posts. Yeah. So you, as a location, you can post information specific to that about yep. promotion or changes in hours. So we're seeing both Google and Facebook really localizing the content mm -hmm. and really localizing the interaction with those locations. and follow kind of the chatter and, and those two areas double down on what you're doing because yep. if you're a loca multi-location business, yep. focus 90% of your efforts on those two areas and you'll be successful. Absolutely. Uh, well, we'll talk a little bit more tactical stuff on Facebook when we come back. And we're back. <laughs> uh, this week in the toolkit, we're gonna continue the Facebook theme. Yep. Uh, yeah, as, as Alex mentioned, um, particularly for multi-location businesses, there's some stuff um, as Facebook kind of becomes this local search engine or the next great local search engine that you can really do out of the gate right now. Um, I think you touched on it a little earlier, but probably number one is really claiming all of those listings if you're a multi-location business or even if you're an SMB, right? Establish a page for your physical business location. But a lot of the clients we work with have a much larger footprint. So um, a lot, what we see a lot of times, particularly in franchise systems, is you have active franchisees who are really want to market their business, think of themselves as a small business owner, and as a result on Facebook have created their own individual pages. They maybe named them very specific ways that they feel are appropriate to that physical location. The reality is, is there needs to be consistency just in the way that we see in Google. So um, brand marketing teams really need to kind of get their arms around claiming those business pages, having consistent naming conventions, 
Um, and then integrating what we call, um, and kind of is common knowledge in the marketplace, is parent-child integration. So you have the main brand Facebook page, and then all of those business location pages within kind of the map functionality of Facebook flow from there. Uh, that's step one, because once you establish these individual place pages, the next piece um, is being able to advertise both at a brand level um, and really at a local level. So there's a lot of different things um, between local awareness ads just to kind of cultivate the audience relative right. to individual locations, um, but some very specific things like local map cards that individual locations can take advantage of um, to make their businesses more prominent um, is users are kind of searching for um, location-based information within Facebook. Um, and the other piece of it is the call to action. So call to action, you absolutely. Your drive, you, you can target a million different ways in Facebook. Um, Facebook Blueprint is a great resource. You can go and train yourself through a series of tests and quizzes that'll really walk you through the different types of targeting, the different best practices, depending on your objectives and your goals. But if you're a local business, obviously a get directions, a call, um, you can do lead forms right inside of Facebook. Mm -hmm. One caveat to all of this is that Facebook's reporting is a little bit of a black box. Yep. So if you tag your Facebook ads with a third party like a Google Analytics, the conversions that you see in GA will likely be very different than in Facebook because Facebook essentially takes credit for any sort of action right. that might happen. Let's say you've got 15 tabs open on your desktop, Facebook being one of it. Mm -hmm and an ad is, is showing on that desktop, yeah. um, Facebook will, will take credit if you later go and do that action. So right. if you're seeing some data discrepancies between your Facebook data and your Google Analytics data, um, that is to be expected, and mm -hmm. you just have to do a good job of kind of explaining impressions and views and yep. click to brand and all that kind of fun stuff. So right. just be aware of that. Um, but there's a ton of great opportunities. And in that Facebook blueprint, you can actually take a test and become mm -hmm. Facebook blueprint certified. Yep. Which we'll get to. But another piece, like some other ad formats, carousel ads, link ads, there's a lot of different stuff. Um, especially if you have product inventory at a business location that you can also kind of bring to life a little bit more. So, uh, but the, the key is really establishing those place pages, consistency kind of from the top down at the brand level. Um, that's the starting point. So uh, start there and then the advertising. Um, I just saw a pop up that your, your wife's watching. Oh, really? Nice. Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be right back. All right, this week's upvote, we're going to give ourselves a little upvote. Um, recently, <laughs> Amazon purchased Whole Foods, um, and if there isn't a more prominent um, example of offline and online coming together, right. that would be it. Right. Um, there is also an interesting report where Amazon is envisioning having these beehives of drones in major cities where oh. these drones will just be like coming in and out of this beehive. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, maybe they're going to just build these beehives on top of Whole Foods and you say, you know, <laughs> hey, Alexa, even though it's been shown to Alexa is six times less smart. Than Dude, I knew there that was coming. That recently. I knew um, that was coming. Hey, Alexa, give me some overpriced chicken salad. Like, <laughs> boom, you can get that it's delivered to you directly. Uh, what if it goes to Trader Joe's? Well, not because uh, no, the, the, obviously, I'm Whole kidding. Foods, I'm but, kidding. Um, it, I, I recently wrote an article um, about this, and, and really, despite kind of this offline online connection, the local search is going to continue to increase in importance. And mm -hmm. if you're an SMB or a brick and mortar, or you're not Whole Foods and Amazon, to mm -hmm. be able to capture that search mm -hmm. is going to be even more critically important moving forward. So, right. um, and then in other news, uh, we're talking about Facebook. We got some exciting news here. Yeah, our, our, uh, our we want to give a special upvote to Mr. Tommy Lynch. He's the first one at Location Three to complete the Facebook Blueprint certification, which is a bear, as we understand it. Uh, I know you're kind of going through the training right now. We've got a lot of folks in our agency training up on it, um, but not an easy task. So. Big ups to, uh, to Mr. Lynch. Um, shout out for America, 4th of July weekend coming up here in a, a couple days. So uh, you're gonna be on a boat. Um, blue, baby. I'm gonna try to find some sun, probably some fireworks, maybe a little barbecue, but everybody have a safe, happy, healthy 4th of July. Um, and we'll probably see you back here uh, next month to, uh, I don't know, see if, if these beehive drones are starting to get installed anywhere. Go figure out Facebook local. If you don't, Absolutely. you're going to be behind the game. Absolutely. We'll Happy see you next time. Happy birthday, America. Peace.